Hello children today we are going to learn about different means of communication Sometimes our relatives and friends stay in a far away places as you can see some relatives are putting up in Mumbai and the others are putting up in London So we need to send them messages and invitation cards. The means that we use to send these messages are called the means of communication. Now let us discuss about the ancient means of communication. In ancient times people sent messages through a messenger. The messenger went either on foot or traveled on horseback or even a camel was used to convey the message. In some places messages were sent by tying them to the feet of trained pigeons Now let us discuss about the present means of communication The first one is postal services The government has given the facility of sending mail through the post. The message is written on the postcard or on an inland letters. Sometimes it is written on a separate paper put in an envelope and sent To whomsoever the letter is to be sent his or her name and address has to be written on the envelope The written letters and the envelopes are posted into the letter box. Then the postman collects all the letters and takes them to the post office. Then the letters are taken to the head post office and later the postman delivers the letters according to the address given on them. The next means of communication is telegram. We are able to send important messages and good wishes immediately through telegram. Telegrams can be received in a very short period of time. The reply to a message in postal service cannot be had immediately. The person to whom the letter is sent has to take another letter to reply it then the postman will deliver the letter so a lot of time is wasted for all these transactions
Next means of communication is telephone. The telephone has become an easy means of communication. People use the telephone to contact a person whether he is far or near. We can speak directly to a person through the telephone. It is an easy and a quick means of communication. The next means of communication that we use in present day is mobile phone. We can speak to anyone from anywhere on a mobile phone. Fax is another means of communication which is used nowadays. Apart from the telephone and the mobile phone, we can now send ma matter, pictures, photographs, etc. with the help of a fax machine. We can individually use postal services, telephone and mobile phone as a means of communication. But if we have to communicate to the people at large in society, then the following means of communication can be used. Important incidents, happenings in the world, country or villages can be read through the newspapers. We can come to know the latest happening in and around us with the help of newspapers. The next means of mass communication is radio. News and important messages are broadcast through a radio. The news broadcast reaches immediately to every nook and corner of the world. But in this means of communication, we can only hear the news or incidents. Television is the next means of mass communication. Important messages and news are telecasted on television. Through television, we can directly see the person reading the news or giving important information. Incidents happening in faraway places can be seen by watching television at home. The latest technology that is computer is the most recent method of sending messages. The messages can be sent throughout the world in seconds by email. Thank you for watching the video and I hope the concept is clear to you.